All right. A very good evening to every person sitting here, my respected teachers, the jury members, and all of the students out here. This is Rashid Hassan standing in front of you all, and I'll be saying my few words to all of the students. As I am a student myself, so I feel that a student can understand a student well, right? Starting off with my own personal experience, as Sidra has already said, that um, you know when we pass our matriculation, our college life, we have a lot of difficulties to face. So in my personal experience, when I was completing my matriculation, I always have heard these sentences, just pass these two years and the life is easier at all. Okay, I cope up with it, I passed my matriculation with very, really, very good grades, and then came my intermediate. Those days were really nice. Then again, I heard the same sentences from my parents, my teachers, and my elder cousins, etc. They told me, just pass these two years with your flying colors, and your life will be easier. But then came the torture of the life, which is your aptitude test, which led you the entry to any good university. It could be a good medical university, engineering university, or any other university. Same happened with me. I wanted to become a doctor, just because of my parents' hope, but somehow I couldn't get into it. It wasn't because of my failure. I didn't back off. Yeah, at that time, I literally backed off because a red F on your report card do not decide your success, right? So, at that moment, my parents supported me very well. Oh, the failure for me was at the time that I didn't even pass an exam with one mark. You know, it wasn't even one mark. There were only two points just because I couldn't get into the medical university. That was the point I got really devastated that I worked hard a lot, I had prayed a lot, but still I couldn't make into it. My parents, my teachers, my friends, my cousin, every single person out there supported me. Literally, they supported me, they motivated me, they gave me good points, but still I wasn't able to cope up with it all. You know why? Because I myself, my brain, my unconscious wasn't able to accept this reality that I couldn't get into a medical university. Somehow, right now I'm standing here and I feel that Allah Almighty has selected a better option for me rather than being a doctor. So, guys, my first point to all of you is that you are supposed to know what your success is. Success is a characteristic feature which is different for almost all of us. Just to raise your hand, for how many of you fame is a success? Being famous, for how many of you fame, being fame is a success? Right. 